Hello everyone. Uh, today we are addressing uh, nighttime rolls, nighttime strolls, uh, nighttime trips in your wheelchair. So uh, some time ago I made uh, a video on nighttime, uh, but uh, it's been a while so I'm going to update that video and uh, put in all the ideas I can possibly think of. Oh yeah, I do have it there. Okay. <clears throat> all right, let's start. So nighttime. Uh, I'm going to give at the end of the video some solutions to these issues, uh, but we need to remember that uh, our vehicles, our wheelchairs, uh, manual or power, were not made for the road and were not made for parking lots. So uh, we need to be very careful when we go out at night. So here are some reasons why. So we are shorter, obviously, and uh, not quite visible. Our wheelchairs are usually of dark color, either black or gray or, you know, silver. So we kind of blend in with the nighttime. Um, manual wheelchairs, uh, for you, it's speed. You know, you are propelling yourself, so you can only go just as fast as you can propel. And if you are not on a hill, well, you're going to go less than or around less than four miles per hour, probably. So you have to be careful with cars, especially, especially if you have to get off on a sidewalk and go on the road for a little bit and get back on. Um, and in uh, parking lots, we're going to talk about that. In parking lots, certainly uh, you got to stay away from the back of cars, parked cars, because if they start to back up, they're not going to see you. Uh, and they're not going to see a power wheelchair either. So you need to stay away from the back of a parked car and probably drive in front of uh, parked cars instead of the back. Uh, it's very dangerous. A lot of people, as you know, do not look before backing up. So it's really important to stay away <laughs> from the back of a car. Um, and in the front, you might not be seen, so you got to keep your distance from the front of the car so the driver can see you. Um, power chairs, power wheelchairs, we are a little bit faster than manual, but still most of our power wheelchairs are black or gray in color or just plain blue or black. So we really blend in with the, with the night and we are not seeable. So here are my four to five tips on what to do to make yourself more visible and safer if you go out in the evening uh, to visit someone or to cross a parking lot at night or to go to the store or whatever it might be. But here are some tips on keeping yourself safe and keeping yourself visible. All right, so safety belt. Uh, I use one that is um, reflective, so it's, you know, kind of like those safety belts that the school guards use. You can also use a vest that construction workers use, whether bright orange or bright green. Uh, so you might want to wear one of those. I have my safety belt and I chose a belt because it kind of fits over anything that I'm wearing. So, so that's a possibility. Uh, lights, of course, when they make our wheelchairs, most of them, 99% of them, do not have any kind of lights. So if your wheelchair is older than a year old or whatever, it's still under warranty, I wouldn't do anything permanent on your wheelchair, but certainly if it's older, uh, feel free to think about some creative ways to put some flashlights on it. Uh, there are also <clears throat> light strips that you can put on. Uh, they have stickers on the back of them. So those strips of lights uh, work with uh, remote control. So that might be an idea that you put some in the back, some in the front, some on the side, wherever you'd like to. Um, so that's one way. <clears throat> um, I have a signaler that uh, signals to the left 
to the right or stop. Uh, it operates um, by, by remote and both of them have the signaler itself is rechargeable but the remote has a battery and I need to change that battery. So you can find <clears throat> those rechargeable signalers on Amazon is where I found mine and it's, it's big enough. I just need to find a way to uh, fix it to the back of my power wheelchair because I do go out at night. So, so that's one way. Uh, a couple of different ways with lights. Uh, reflective stickers, of course. Uh, I'm famous for uh, reflective stickers, so I have reflective stickers all over my power wheelchair. <laughs> so I have red and yellow in the back. I have white on the side, so I put some on my wheels that are white in front. I have um, on top of the uh, protective fenders, uh, on top of the wheels, I put blue. And on my uh, footrest, I put yellow and white. So, you know, they're just reflective stickers. And um, my hope is that the car will see me before uh, they run into me. <laughs> so that's my hope. Um, as usual, we need to keep our distance from cars and trucks and buses and all that. Nevertheless, um, the other thing you can use is a, um, a flag. Now, I don't use a flag. Um, I should, maybe, because I go through a lot of parking lots, but uh, I don't use a flag. But you could uh, put a flag. There is uh, usually there are spots on our wheelchairs to attach a flag. So that is up to you. You know, these are choices. Uh, the other thing you can use, which I, I didn't note here, uh, we can say number five, is that there are some reflective um, wraps, you know, those wraps, that tape that's used on bike handlebars. Uh, there are some uh, tape that is reflective, so especially for manual wheelchairs, that would be great. Uh, so look up some reflective handlebar tape and you can find some probably in, in a bike shop or Amazon. Amazon is not paying me for any of these commercials <laughs> and they should. <laughs> but um, truly uh, look for reflective tape because that, that might be helpful especially for the manual wheelchairs. Um, there's not a whole lot of spots for us for power wheelchairs. Uh, but you, you might find a spot or here or there if you wanted to use um, handlebar reflective tape. Uh, so those are my five tips for making sure that your wheelchair is visible and a bit safer. But just know if you're going out at night, stay away from cars. Be careful if you have to go off the sidewalk and onto the street. Um, get back onto the sidewalk or go into the parking lot as soon as you can. Uh, winter gets worse for us uh, because a lot of times sidewalks are not scraped off and um, they're not cleaned and parking lots a lot of times are not cleaned in time so we do struggle a lot to uh, <clears throat> find a safe spot to, to roll. So anyway, those are my five tips. Those are the reasons why uh, nighttime is a little bit more dangerous for us. So let's try to keep ourselves safe and keep ourselves rolling. All right, take care and see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.